Hello, YouTube. Um, a lot of people wonder, you know, how did you make this thing go so fast? Well, to be honest with you, um, I'm, I, mean, I have a good idea of how I know, but um, really it's, it's small wheels and a long bar for a distance and stuff like that. So it, it just it evens out or whatever, and a, a very a pretty light framework. Anyway, um, a lot of you are also wondering, uh, how do you load this thing so that way it keeps going on and on and on without stopping? Well, I'm going to show you. Uh, you've got your piece of string right here. Uh, it's been a little worn out after all the uses I've done. Um, just playing around with it over the years. Uh, but anyway, how it works is, let's put this camera down. Take the string, and get it on the axle right there. You just I have a lot of slack, I don't need this much, or you, you shouldn't either, but um, I just have a little extra slack right there. But anyway, you take it, and you just continue to wrap it around in one direction. And to your left, it's something that looks a little camera for you, like that. It's all wrapped around and stuff. Um, you have that little bit of extra slack right there. And what you do with this is, it's a little tricky to show you, you take this extra slack and you fold it so it goes onto the opposite side of the slack right there. And you just take the mouse trap and hold it while well, holding it. Wrap around. Now see how it's gone around the slack the first time right there? After that, you can just continue to wrap around. Just probably need to lift up the thing a little bit to get it started. There we go. Now it's starting to work. Way around without my having to fight with it. And you just do this. Wrapping it around. Now I stop, uh, if I have this thing here like it is, I have this so it's set right about back here, maybe uh, oh, a good three inches off the ground, because this thing has a lot of torque to it, so when I let go, I don't want it to just pop up and we do a wheelie and then it's just going to flip out after I launch it, so, but if I was to just, and you can actually make this easier, easier, even, even easier for yourself, you can just pull back like this, I like it's a wind-up toy. Also, a little bit kind of whoops. Don't let go of it. There. So when it's all pulled back and stuff like that, uh, I kind of cheats it a little bit. That little piece of wood right there, you probably can't really see it that well, but there's like a little kink right there where the spring was, just to give it like a little extra tension. And I got rid of any other thing, like the little snap-off parts and anything that will get rid of a little extra weight. So then I wrap it around with wire or whatever. But anyway. You know, you got it like this, so it's wrapped around, and as soon as it's done one winding, the wheel's just going to keep spinning like this. It's going to go pretty fast, so... How am I supposed to do this? Yeah, I don't want to hit my hand on the mouse trap. Alright. So anyway, three... Two, one, go.